tank for no reason. <laughs> uh, it didn't go live. I have no idea what click means that it's actually live. Because sometimes it shows like before and after stuff. Oh, it's so yellow. Ugh. What's up, Shizzle? <laughs> I feel like you guys may not be able to hear me. What about now? Ha, <laughs> chicken nugget. You're at work? Oh. Well, thanks for stopping by, Maddie. Um, let's see, pop that out. Need that in the background. Let's get this in front and this all right why is there such a long delay between the songs okay i'm playing game of thrones songs in case you're wondering and i got a little bit of a head start so apologies for that <laughs> just like really itching to start practicing the sketch and it turned out pretty good so I was like oh wow I decided to keep it oh thanks Maddie for the donation hey Marie glad you could make it um, for drawing her yeah I know right I wasn't I just saw it on my Pinterest I was looking for something else and I was just like huh it would be fitting for me to draw my Sunday, actually. I don't know why she came up in my um, kind of Pinterest suggestions, because I wasn't looking for her before. I guess it's because of all the pictures of um, Daenerys. That's probably what did it. I think you're gonna get the iPad Pro for your birthday. Awesome, I'm excited. It seems like a lot of people are thinking about getting it. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, I'm an, <laughs> I use the iPad for my channel. So, all the people who are thinking about getting it are probably <laughs> gonna say something to me. In case you didn't know, I'm working on the lips first because that's my favorite and I feel like, um, the lips hold more of the uh, likeness than the eyes, which is always what I'm going for um, when I do these portraits. The likeness is the most important part. by my own sketching rules to do this. I usually do a lot more of the more basic shapes to start out with, but... Oh well. She needs a little more flesh on her cheek. <laughs> Watch the episode after Endgame. Oh yeah, that's not a good idea. <laughs> that is too much depression at once. I was 13. Oh, I can't wait, man. Like, I really hope it has all the updates that people are thinking and predicting that it's gonna have. Because um, it's just annoying to like. It's still annoying to get something from my iPad to my computer to post. Like, I just want that process to be better. Let's actually draw this eyes straight this time, Josh. <laughs> Mm. 
If you're wondering why it looks different from the thumbnail, it's because um, the thumbnail doesn't show her whole head. So I'm going to use that when I block out the main shapes. No spoilers allowed still. I don't know what, what's the rule for like spoiler duration? It's been, I think a month. Or is it two weeks? I don't know. I think there's like a rule online or something for like when it's socially acceptable to talk about spoilers as if it's um, I mean, when it's like uh, appropriate and it's like, well, you should have seen it. If you haven't, it's your fault. And if you're wondering why I'm not I'm active on Instagram, it's because I'm kind of taking a drawing hiatus. I'm not really working on finishing any drawings um, to a highly detailed level right now until I can kind of settle down with the move that I'm making soon. And that's going to include me changing my entire setup. So, yeah. So that's an effect stuff pretty big time. Pretty happy with this, but I, I want to add a little bit of flair to it. I feel like I'm going too far into realism, so I'm going to start playing with some of the uh, <laughs> with the proportions. Uh, this is one thing in program needs to get better. Like the um, moving and scaling stuff with your fingers is so awkward. Ugh. Something wrong with this distance, it should be like that. I think her mouth needs to be closer to her to her nose. Let's try that out. Yeah, I know, right? If you don't want spoilers, don't use your phone. That's for that's really what it is. There's always like a respectable amount of time, you know. I remember in my office <laughs> when uh, Endgame was just coming out, like me and a few other people were like freaking out because we knew we couldn't see it as fast as everyone was going to be able to, and we were just like covering our ears because um, at breakfast people were talking about it so much. <laughs> trying to reach realism. Yeah. Have I started going to the gym again yet? Are you talking to me? <laughs> How do you know I haven't been going to the gym? Did I talk about that in the live stream? Um, if you're talking to me, no, but I will when I move. Um, it's kind of like a huge, kind of not that big of a life change, but it's pretty significant. It's going to be impossible to tell if this is going to really look like me someday until I draw her hair. I think her chin is just too kind of like big and masculine. I'm going to try and, uh... oh, that doesn't work. There's something about it. It needs to be like more squat. just brought the iPad 3 pencil you can try every while watching my uh, tutorials, yeah. I mean, a lot, I've noticed a lot of comments, people are saying like, um, people are saying, oh, I can't draw this, I'm too poor for the iPad, it's just like, well, you don't need an iPad to follow along, you know, really this is just pencil and paper, you know, it's, uh, I feel like it looks less like her now. Drawing Fortress was tricky because if you draw, because it's hard to, some people's likenesses don't come through until you start adding values. I'm just going to do a loose 
this little end of her hair. Big fluffy plume here. I think it's cool that she can keep her kind of iconic hairstyle as part of her character. If you guys are new, thanks for subscribing. I've gotten so many subscribers in the past um, couple days because of my most recent video that's done like crazy. And that's been going like crazy on the YouTube um, algorithm. The algorithm has blessed me with uh, new subscribers. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy. One thing I noticed that's weird is uh, a lot of people are like commenting, oh, this is Nakia from Instagram. And it's like, I credited her in the beginning of the video, but I guess a lot of people aren't watching that far. <laughs> because I, I put it in pretty big letters at the top of the screen, her Instagram account, because I'm definitely all about crediting people. But yeah. But nobody, well, only one person seemed to be like malicious about it. And, think that I actually never credited her at all, so it's all good. Have I gotten... where's my face? Uh, my camera is like messing and acting up. It just wasn't working. And then the other substitute I got, I don't really like how it looks. So I have postponed showing my face for a little bit. Just for a little bit. You'll be able to see my beautiful face soon. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, I used to have my face like like a gamer channel, like right here in the uh, corner. So, yeah. I think the angle of her chin is wrong. Definitely wrong. funny because the microphone is literally two inches away from my face. But maybe it's just because my voice range is so deep it's much harder to hear. Are you on uh, are you listening to headphones or are you using a speaker max? It's been a while since you watched one of my streams. Yeah, poor ketchup. I haven't seen you in a while. How are you doing? Yeah, you're, you're like one of the first few subscribers I've had that came from Instagram. That's awesome. Yeah, it's just the algorithm, I'm sure. It's, it's very difficult to keep up with uh, any type of content creator these days, unless you watch them like religiously, because as soon as you decide not to click one of their videos, one time the algorithm will be like, alright! You don't like this guy anymore. I'm going to show you somebody else. <laughs> it's like so reactive. Mm. Time to 
to play with the liquify tool and sheet because it's digital art and I can do whatever I want. Uh -huh. Streamline setting on your brushes don't work as well. Um, pressure curve shouldn't matter. Have you just tried using a default brush without making any edits and seeing if that works? If the default brushes aren't working, then it might be that your Procreate isn't working as well. Definitely try out some of the default calligraphy brushes because those are already having those already have a lot of streamline to them. also true but yeah <laughs> but it's mainly the camera if I if I hadn't cut my hair yet I'd probably just wear a hoodie or something because I'm not a lot I'm not about to let just like a bad hair day like prevent me from getting those those precious views <laughs> so much somehow. She has such a weird angle, it's like... current set but you don't think that's all the brushes in the portrait what do you mean I don't use all the brushes every time <laughs> wave check um, am I selling my entire portrait brush set well yeah though I have like other brushes here but I really don't use them that much um, once I start like teaching myself to color I'm going to have one more brush set that would be like painting brushes, but those are far from being released because I don't even, they don't even really exist yet. songs in here but it's like uh they're pretty depressing i'm just gonna switch to the lo-fi stuff so bear with me for one second oh, i need to use my keyboard <clears throat> Department or what? <laughs> oh, well. oh, 
I can't, it's always tricky trying to tell if you guys are talking amongst yourselves or to me. <laughs> By the way, I'm thinking of um, doing, since I'm still on kind of on a hiatus, my next video is probably not going to be a drawing video, but instead it's going to be, um, I'm going to do a video of like how I make my videos. So I want to do an in-depth video that I can always refer people to from now on. So when they ask me like why am I making that sound in my videos, um, what this or that do you use, I'm just going to tell you everything that's um, relatively small and visible in my content, um, exactly what I'm doing and exactly what the product is. So like my stand, the pencil, the iPad, the camera I use, um, you know, the cable I use to charge it, the screen protector, um, my microphone, the microphone, I won't be able to show the stand. That'll be in a later video. Um, all that kind of stuff. So that's what my next video is gonna be on. So if you're not as in, if you're usually just interested in the drawing stuff, you probably won't find it that entertaining, but just a heads up. It should be, it should come out sometime, uh, sometime Sunday afternoon, um, because it's going to be relatively easy for me to film, which is why I'm doing that topic in the first place. Lazy Josh not drawing. Instead of just saying no video this weekend, that's what I wanted to do. Just put a little something there out there for you. since I've drawn a body. You guys are about to suffer with me and see how long it's been. Pretty sure this shape is completely wrong. stand too, don't think you'd like sketching at an angle like this. Yeah, normally I would just have this on my lap. I wouldn't be sketching like this, but it's really not that uncomfortable at all. Some people were saying, oh, it looks really uncomfortable in the latest video I made. But to me, it's really not that bad. a pro wouldn't be making this many loose sketch lines but oh well <laughs> I'll get there in the end Have you ever 
ever thought about doing animation. Um, yeah. I mean, it's always, like, I have so many ideas for that, but it's like, it's so much hard work. And I get to the point where it's like, I don't feel motivated anymore. I've tried it a little bit before, but I didn't really make anything worth showing. Um, I think I'm going to wait till somebody really figures out how to do it efficiently. Um, on a kind of a portable device, and then I might look into it again. Because especially if I could bring that into my YouTube content, that would be amazing. Because uh, <laughs> I know it sounds like really, really greedy, but animated content is doing really well on YouTube right now. I'm sure you all know about um, the channels, um, The Odd Ones Out and um, Draw With Waffles. The main interest for their content style is the animated stories. They're simple animations, but they're still there. And that's really what makes them shine and pop and be so popular. And uh, all of the infographic, like the infographic show, all of those infographic channels, even though some of those stories are fake, um, they're doing really well because it's just really fun content to watch. but um, eyelashes is tough because a lot of most of the time you don't want to focus on adding detail because it's just going to look bad unless you're doing like one of those really zoomed in portraits like um, Blue Satan does on Instagram if you don't know who that is her name is Julia she's a Russian digital artist she's very good slash model at this point. But she loves to draw and she's got a lot of experience drawing really close up portraits. Um, this photo reference, if you go to my Pinterest, I don't know if Marie is still, yeah Marie can you link them my Pinterest page? <laughs> I think the quickest way to find it would be to just um, go to the Discord resources page, I think. But yeah, my Pinterest page, you'll see both references for a beautiful, lovely Sunday here. Or her real name, Nathalie Emmanuel. Looking at me draw feels like changing digital art setup. iPad is organic. Yeah, very nice. I don't really prefer the constrained setup of the graphic tablets, but they do have their advantages, um, which is why, you know, they're not going out of business anytime soon, because <laughs> the advantages are real. 
and I plan to review some of them on my channel. It's not gonna be easy though because I haven't used Photoshop in so long so I have to like go find brushes and get the feel for it again and all of that. But the biggest pet peeve I had with Photoshop was the performance issues but now I've got a computer that has been beefed up to take care of my YouTube video upload schedule so should be able to handle Photoshop very well. Thanks, Marie. Brazil fans here. Thanks. Got a lot of Brazilian fans on Instagram as well. It's 10 bucks. Pretty sh it might have changed. Maybe it is 8 bucks. Well, yeah, you guys know what I think about tracing. <laughs> well, if you're new, um, like for example, for me, a good way to use tracing to study for this would be to trace the basic organic shapes on here and learn what those correct shapes should be from like my videos or another video and then practice drawing them trace them draw them trace them draw them and get to a point where you have a feel for it and then you can start your drawing um, without any of the traced stuff and what that's going to do is train your brain brain to get a feel for what's correct and it's going to help you draw more accurately faster rather than trying to do it from scratch every single time. It's going to teach you to learn what shapes are where and kind of give you a starting point. I didn't need to do it with this one um, because three quarter angles are really easy for me and uh, you know eventually I'll just never need to do it again for portraits at least. the number that shows how long I've been streaming for. Where is it? Sorry guys, I want to look at my hand. <laughs> Where is the thing that shows how long I've been streaming? Oh, okay, well I have another place to look at. It's 34 minutes. start drawing a lot more well that's great x class thanks for letting me know that's the goal with the with the channel because i i have a feeling art is going to start becoming a lot more popular and because it's a lot more accessible to people i'm gonna make her smile a little bit because i want this to eventually have this kind of like heavenly look That's just enough of a smile. I'm gonna detail her eyes. 
guys know, so you guys can at least see how I would detail one part of this drawing before I end the stream. It's not ending soon, but it's going to take a while. Okay, this is also an easy portrait for me because she's not looking directly at the camera, which makes it really easy for me. It's one of those things that I haven't really learned to put into words yet, or studied enough to be able to actually say, this is how you make happy looking eyes. Just randomly skips to drawing the mouth for no reason. <laughs> iPad Pro good for quick sketches? Yeah. For sure. Because it's like, it just saves. Like, I could turn off my iPad right now, it would be fine. Like, you won't lose anything. You're bloody here. <laughs> the music down? Oh, really? Uh, are you listening to with your headphones? I'm just curious. Because my audio is on 6% out of 100 now. Pull it to 5 as well. Classes on Skillshare. Yeah, damn it, I need to get on that scholarship. I'm gonna that sponsorship. Yeah. to draw. In this case, I would say it was a jawline. A lot of times, all the parts of the face are easy to draw. For me, it's just the structure, like getting the, getting the alignments right. I can sit here and draw that eye from this and just continue to detail it. It's pretty easy. And the nose, but like the size of the nose, 
and where I should be with respect to all the other stuff and getting in perspective, for me, that's the hard part, which is funny because, like, that's the foundation of art, you know, to me, drawing, being able to understand perspective and stuff, but <laughs> for me, it's still the hard, the hardest part of it. voice if you don't have like really 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 good speakers my voice won't carry through if you just have regular speakers instead of listening through headphones it's a problem I suffered through my entire life it's much harder to hear people who are deeper voiced than if they have high-pitched voices because if I talk like this I'm sure you can actually hear my voice very clearly <laughs> could talk like a typical voiced over anime girl. <laughs> that sounds terrible compared to the Japanese. Original Japanese voiceover. <laughs> Headphones is good. <laughs> You're on max volume. That would affect things, Javo. You don't like high pitches very much. <laughs> For me, I found it's best not to try and be as structured, and I just like let everything blend together until I'm at the very end, and I start adding like little details here and there. It also may be hard to hear me because I'm not using like my, you know, my professional YouTuber voice. Hey, what is up, guys? Thank you guys so much for watching my YouTube video. If you like this, please hit like and subscribe. <laughs> Because that, that voice is, that's not for, you know, Friday night show live stream. <laughs> oh, he said, please stop. <laughs> uh, the delay for this is so long. <laughs> Your ears almost bled. Yeah, see, it's like... So no love, yeah. You know how it is. You can't. It's impossible to draw the other eye. <laughs> no, this is like what I'm doing right now is something I do not recommend if you have trouble drawing eyes. Do not do what I'm doing. Draw both eyes at the same pace. The reason I'm drawing only one is because I'm not sure what kind of style I'm going for, so I'm experimenting with this one, and I keep zooming in and out because I want to see how it looks from far away. Brush so far. 
um, but I have used my mixer brush to blend a lot. And when I do the final eyelashes, I'm going to use my pen pencil brush. Now I'm actually going to use my mixed brush to add some light values to her eye, because they are pretty dark. using the same mixer brush that I used to apply them. surprised when I'm doing it myself because it's like oh this didn't look that good compared to the beginning I mean the beginning didn't look that good compared to now but it's like I've drawn enough stuff to where I the confidence I just know how to ignore that voice in my head I'm just like it's gonna turn out okay eventually just keep trying shut up brain <laughs> we'll figure it out we always do See how this looks in the camera. Oh, it looks pretty good. Hey, Terrell. All the time to see. <laughs> stream fans here. <laughs> My favorite automation. stickler for like keeping the best part for last and making sure you can enjoy whatever you're doing without you know the parts that everyone likes like the hair and the highlights and um you know it hasn't even been an hour yet but you can tell how much easier this was for me to draw compared to last night's um Rihanna, because uh, I didn't even get to do any shading, and this one's a lot more stylized for some reason. Um, 
but yeah depending on how easy something is for me is gonna be how long it takes for me to actually finish it up of drawing like making sure that difference between the nose and the rest of the skin is visible and it's always so super subtle it's like not really a line it's just a subtle change in gradation it's just ever so subtle but it's very important since 20k <laughs> yeah 20k is when everything took off pretty much yeah yeah because 20k is pretty much um i got like 20k really fast because of that ipad video but there's some people that were here when i didn't get any views to the sub count oh nice hey leo patty party <laughs> glad to hear it turtle oh you got an ipad pro and apple pencil awesome awesome let's say well you're gonna have a great time slump that they're in <laughs> right now I'm using my basic brush to add some very light tone changes because like I want the shadow on her lip to merge with the corner of her face I know, right? <laughs> 53 minutes, yeah. Where am I based out of? Atlanta, Erickson. Atlanta, Georgia. Thanks, Glitzy. How smooth is the Apple Pencil? Oh, it's really good. It's really good use. And I've been using it for how many months now? When did this come out? Was it last year? No. When was it March? Your premium to text. <laughs> Thanks, Terrell, for the donation. I appreciate it. Wow. Excuse me one 
one second. something minutes. <laughs> Seven years now. <laughs> Thanks, man. Or, I don't know, woman, or whatever you identify as. I usually only make that assumption I can see the picture clearly of what someone looks like. Nice way to practice. Wait, I didn't see that. You have 11 oh, great aunts. Oh wow, each 10 times, oh good. If you're gonna do that, make sure I don't spend too much time <laughs> on one of them, or any one drawing. I'd say the pace you should do is um, do one aunt in uh, one week max, if you're gonna do 10 times each. Okay, everyone, the live stream has come to an end. And 
as always, I'm going to give you guys a little clear view of what it looks like. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. To those of you who are new, thank you so much for subscribing. Got a lot of great content coming up. Um, and the video this weekend is going to be just me going over, you know, a little bit of my snip setup, a little snippet of it. But I think you'll enjoy it if you're interested in doing any kind of content like this yourself. So until then, I will see you in the next video. Peace.